that's your attorney it. is correct. Yeah. But that's our attorney, too. I mean, don't uh, listen. Uh, right, now he's like, it's our attorney. <laughs> what do you mean it's your both attorney? He's paying the attorney, are you? He's a big fan of the show. Oh, yes. so he does. Vincent, Vincent and Bessie, he's always helped us out. So because it's your rent. lawyer, too, you think that if he buys an apartment... It's yours. It's You'll be able to move in, too. <laughs> you never know. Why? Vin, Vinny's wrong. Vinny, I fucking had surgery. You don't give a f two fucking shits. So fuck you, fuck Lori, fuck Devin, and fuck your baby girl, motherfucker. <coughs> yes. Congratulations. I know how to check my mail. Right. By the way, by the way. What? Uh, for those of you who are wondering uh, what happened uh, with High Pitch Eric and Joey Boots the other day. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, uh, they just happened to be here in the honor of the 30 million subscribers. I saw them this morning and wondered why they were here. Now, what Hello. did I... Oh, okay, there they are. There's Joey. Hey, Joey. And there's mm. the High Pitch, wheeling and walking. Since they're here, I figured we'd get an update. Um, has High Pitch accepted Joey... The fact that you are moving out of the building and getting your own place, or has he been the nudge that I predicted and keeps saying that you should get an apartment together? They seem to ex have accepted it. I mean, Is that right, Eric? You accepted it? Yeah. But I, wow. think, I think at the same time when it actually starts to happen and I'm actually moving, I find a place and I'm moving, Yes. I think that's when it will affect them. You don't think it's hit him yet? No, I don't no, think not, so. No, not yet, but it's going to take time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> How much so time? He's wearing a jersey. It's the biggest jersey. <laughs> Where'd you find the jersey that big to fit you? I, no, you know what got this me? When Joey got me an appearance in Atlanta? Yeah. There's a guy that got me the jersey. Yeah, what is that? Uh, what team is that uh, Atlanta, celebrating? Atlanta Falcons. The Atlanta Falcons. Next week he'll be wearing Pittsburgh gear. Right. You don't care what the gear is as long as it's big, right? right. You don't have a team. You just like a big shirt. Yeah, he likes jerseys. Yeah. I love sweatpants. football. I love baseball. So, Joey, uh, much to my surprise, what you're saying on an update here from last week's show, where you thought Eric was going to react horribly. You were crying. Right. Yeah, I, I said to you as in... And Eric just like drifted off into getting. He's like, I gotta mention this girl's name. I gotta mention this girl's name. Right. He's hyper focused on that. <laughs> on that, he just didn't really give a shit. It kind of, it kind of I thought maybe ruined the segment because I thought it would be a little more dramatic. Right. You know, I actually came in here because I thought I would need help to tell him. Right. I obviously didn't. No, no, you wasted everyone's time with that because he accepted it very easily. You think you're more important <clears throat> to Eric than you? I, I, are. I did, and I feel a fool. Well, you know what I think it is. I think Joey's saying that Eric lives in the moment. I think when you're packing up your boxes right. and you're leaving, that's, that's when it's going to hit Eric. Am you I right, hope. Eric? Yes, it's <laughs> gonna, that's when it's going to hit me really hard. Yeah. In other words, there's no reality to it. Joey still lives in the building. Right. And he, he's there with you every day. Right. And you have no ability to predict the future, right, or see that far ahead. Right. Right. Uh, Joey. Do you think that's a part of uh, his limited yes. capacity? Yes. Okay. Eric, you're lucky. You have limited capacity, <laughs> so you don't sit there and dwell on what's coming up. Well, I have limited capacity, limited mobility. Right. Everything's <laughs> limited. limited <laughs> Is there anything on you that isn't limited? <laughs> Even your know. vision. I don't know. Um, uh, Joey, have you come close? Closer to finding an apartment now well, that you're free of Eric. You know, I might, as soon as I left the show on Monday, uh, my attorney contacted me. He's yes. like, he's like, you're an idiot if you go to rent. He goes, that money should be going towards buying something. You need yeah. to get yeah. a broker. I mean, yeah. you know, like, I don't have enough to outright buy a place. But you could put it down a down payment. Yeah, I have a nice down payment. Plus, I have the GI home bill, well, which guarantees a... Your attorney is correct. Yeah. But that's our attorney, too. I mean, don't uh -oh. just... Right, now he's like, it's our attorney. <laughs> what do you mean it's your both attorney? He's paying the attorney. Are you? No, I'm not paying. Are no, you no, not? He's a big fan of the show. Oh, yeah. so he does... Vincent, Vincent and Bessie, he's always helped us out. So he does pro bono work. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. For you to I mean, pay bonos. Don't, 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 well, he just made money off of me. Oh, he did. Yeah, right, I because mean, of your settlement. Right. I mean, don't listen to him, okay? I mean, you gotta listen to me. I know what I'm doing. So because it's your rent. lawyer, too, you think that if he buys an apartment... It's yours. It's You'll be able to move in, too. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. <laughs> Eric, your thinking is that he's your attorney, he's Joey's attorney. Are you hoping that Joey's going to buy an apartment? Now he's going to be an owner. He's going to be a landowner. Are you thinking that Joey's going to sort of move you in no, as a surprise. If he, gets, if he gets a broker, he's got to pay a fucking broker. Right. Well, that's don't, what you got to do. Don't, yeah, but don't get a broker. Why? Vin, Vinny's wrong. What do you think uh, he should what do? What should he do? He should... 
because he should look for a place. Don't get a broker because you're going you're gonna to pay for a broker. Don't do that. So you're saying Joey should research the market on his own? Yes. And I, I, I have a lot of people to ask a lot of questions, Howard. Right. I, I don't know the process. But how about Eric thinking that you should really do the research you yourself look, you and should, not get a broker? You should look for the New York Times. But don't you think I, the I mean, broker... that's, a, that's an option, but i got to talk to people in the know. In most places, Eric. They are very few places listed in the New York That's Times. That's right. Well, the real estate section is... And you know, if Joey walks in without a broker, people are going to be thinking they're getting robbed or, or raped or something. You know, Joey's a scary guy. He doesn't know what... And, and I don't know the process. Yeah. Right, right. I'm paying this person for to take me through it. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, the New York Times has the best real, real estate section. Where did you get this information? <laughs> well, he's right. Cause, yeah. Because he goes through it and fantasizes about moving into all those apartments. Is that right? You know, yes. Eric, just because... million-dollar apartments. <laughs> you know, Eric, just because you're the size of a building doesn't mean you know anything about real estate. <laughs> I, I, lost, I lost weight. I was still on the diet. Well, let's, tell, let's give a health update, and let's get off the apartment subject for one minute. What happened since we last saw you last week, Eric, and tell people? Okay, well... Okay, I Jason called me on Friday. Go ahead. And I had I had bad news to tell you. What's that? My my primary doctor called me. The yeah. primary doctor. And He's got a, a primary. And right. and my cardiologist called me. Uh huh. Right. Only in America. So He's my, got a medical team. <laughs> yeah. He's involved in this. Oh, I don't think <laughs> fucking a uh, tranny blow up doll is much of a stretch. <laughs> Cock's a cock, Eric. No. I, I, uh, I, I'm throwing the tranny blow up dolls away. All right. I, I, I love how the tranny blow up dolls are gay, but Donnie Wahlberg isn't. Right. <laughs> people Donnie are Wahlberg sending isn't. me posters of Donnie Wahlberg. Well, you like Donnie that. Wahlberg, and Donnie Wahlberg pillowcases. I'm going to come all over them. Have you whacked off to any of that stuff? Not yet. Eric, be honest. <laughs> what have you done to the pillowcase? <laughs> I haven't gotten them yet. Oh. Oh. But he's told me what he wants to do to the What pillow. does he want to do? Eric, do, it, do, it, do it in your Eric oh. voice, what he told you. I want to put the pillowcase down. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come all over on. Donnie's face. You're going to come on Donnie's face. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Hey, I'm so <laughs> soup. Me, no, not soy sauce. Oh, teriyaki sauce. <laughs> Boy, Eric, Mickey, Eric, get over here. Teriyaki. Get over to my apartment now. No. <laughs> Mickey. Hey, Howard, I have a question. I'm going to Who the shower. Who shares in their phone number? <laughs> I'm going to the shower. I'll be in for four hours. <laughs> Get over here! No! <laughs> hey, oh. People on the live stream in the chat have been asking me, so when is the, when is the gathering happening? <laughs> They've also uh, asked you if you've sucked a dick before, too. I saw that. Yeah, you notice you ignore that question. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have. You have sucked no, a dick before? <laughs> when did you suck people, a dick? <laughs> Never. Oh. But you said I you don't know. know what question he's answering. How <laughs> people, yes. always, people always ask me, uh, "Have I killed Joey <laughs> Boots?" And that's a stupid question. People well, did you? <laughs> no. You did find the body. I did find the body. And I kill him. All right. Yeah, Howard. There's a guy in the chat room named uh, uh, Eric killed Joey Boots and <laughs> <laughs> writing shit on the uh, on the YouTube chat. <laughs> That's oh, not funny. <laughs> Good morning, Eric. <laughs> Kill Joe. Hey. Good morning. <laughs> My one view. Now, what? Yeah, I'm a moderator. I'm a moderator in the YouTube chat room, so it's like. Oh, oh, Joe. Eric, Joe, Joey Boots. Remember when Joey put <laughs> ointment on your asshole? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, because I had a major problem back there. <laughs> yeah. He'll never find a friend like Joey. That's, is, sure. uh, that's the truth. Gonzo's a good guy, but he ain't putting ointment on your asshole. If you could have oh, saved... You never know. I have a question. <laughs> oh. If you could have <laughs> saved... If you could have saved Joey's life by blowing him, would you have done it? Oh, me so so. Seriously, what Art. Do you, what do you mean by... What do you mean by saving him? In other words, let's say he was dying, right? And then all of a sudden God said to you, I'll tell you what, I won't take Joey. I'll let him live another 10 years. But Eric, you have to blow him. Would you have done it? 
No. Wow. Whoa. You would let Joey die? What an asshole. That's fucked up, Eric. I, no, I would have given, given him CPR. So you took so for nothing, but yeah. you wouldn't blow our dear friend Joey to live 10 years? But Joey would still be with us if you just would have blown him. And you wouldn't do that for him? But, wow. Uh, Ask him the same thing about Donnie. What? 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 Yeah, you always put me on the spot like that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but, but it just seems selfish to me. I mean, I didn't think of you like that. I thought you'd do anything to save Joey. Well, I blow Joey, Joey for 10 years. Well, I still love Joey no matter what. Well, apparently you but don't But you wouldn't him blow enough. him to keep yeah. him alive. Well, God said to you, just blow him, and then for 10 years I'll keep him alive. I would have Donnie and Joey in a room. Yeah. Go ahead. And and I would uh, wow, this this would be tough. Let's see. Ooh, what would I do with Donnie and Joey? Go ahead, think it through. Fuck. Oh. I always have Donnie, Joey, and Gonzo in the same room. Right. And Gonzo too. We know it ain't your bedroom. You can't fit that many guys in there. <laughs> it's getting pretty packed. <laughs> it, would, I, I, it, would be, it would be dark. It would be dark in the room. Go ahead. I feel the dull wheels are uh, spinning. <laughs> and, 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 Gon, and Gonzo and I are. Oh. Gonzo and I are sharing a bed together. Go ahead. But God's not even giving you that option. In other words, God says to you, Yeah, Joey's, where's he going with I'm it? I'm about to kill Joey. You know, I'm going to take him to heaven. But, Eric, I'll give you a choice. Like, if you want to save Joey right now, you can blow him. And <laughs> now you're in a bed. A gang, now man. you're in bed with, yeah, like 20 Gonzo guys. Gonzo and Donnie and is Joey. Your, <laughs> is your strategy to get so many guys you're attracted to in there so that you kind of get Joey in the mix? <laughs> To save Joey for another 50 years? 10 years. 10 years? Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, fuck, yeah, why not? Because he was a loyal friend to, the, to your show. So you would have blown Joey? Fuck it, because he was a great friend to you. It's pretty gay. What's wrong with you, dude? Why would you blow a guy? You what would blow Joey? You? Oh, <laughs> dude. No, you tricked uh, me. What? I oh, know. Save his life. Oh, that's no, no excuse. <laughs> gay is gay. You never blow a guy. Yeah, yeah dude, never. Yeah, that's pretty gay. Why want to blow me? Nobody wants to blow you. <laughs> Except <laughs> Debbie. Except Debbie to come with. Right. You got to give us a premise we can believe. Yeah. Right. Now, a lot of people are saying that I should wear a condom when Debbie uh, sucks my cum. Why <laughs> uh, 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 uh. did that sound now, so Howard, sickening? <laughs> a lot of people are saying I gotta wear a condom when Debbie she has sucks my cum. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say that's a good idea. Uh, what say you? <laughs> <laughs> now, let me, because what kind of condom do you think I should wear? Uh, just put a garbage bag over your dick. All I hear is just the C's and the K's. What do you yeah, I don't know. Uh, Trojan, how's that? All right, hey guys, I got to go because yeah, we're late for news. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How is it? I love you too, man. Just be, you know... Like, be careful with that threatening stuff, you know? I don't want to see... And start losing some weight so you can get this operation. Yeah, I heard Lisa Lampanelli like, yesterday on the wrap-up show talking about me. Oh, yeah. And she was... She, and she... And, you know, she spoke really hard to me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> well, all I know is that gastric uh, bypass... You know, it's going to bypass you. Yeah, if you don't lose some weight. And I stop drinking... A Sprite. That was one of the ways he lost so much weight the last time was he cut soda out. I saw him doing downing one soda after another when I was watching. And I, by the way, also on your feed, I thought it was kind of funny when that guy, uh, Vinny, was putting like feeding, like like you were a zoo animal. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and you got mad about that, but that's funny. 
Oh, like feed him time at the zoo? Yeah, or like <laughs> yeah. Habit, Erickson the habitat. in his habitat. He had like a Breaking Bad type logo, but right. it said Breaking Bed right <laughs> under <laughs> Eric's sleep. And you guys had something of a sense of humor. It was good. It was yeah. entertaining. And Eric threatened to kill him for that. <laughs> yeah. Betty, yeah, I'm going to rape like, you! I mean, for like, in, instead of Big Brother, they made a uh, an animation that said Big Beggar instead of Big Brother. Yeah. So that's creative. That was, so. You get mad at that, huh, Eric? Fun, yeah. Yeah, I do. I get I get mad at Vinny because when Vinny promises me something, yeah. does it come through? Yeah. I get really mad at him. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's so easy to get mad at someone like Vinny when it doesn't come through. Well, Howard, no, I've, I've been getting well, Howard. I've been getting a lot of uh, people tweeting me uh, that Eric's been threatening to murder them and stuff, and they're, they're like, they really like want to press charges and stuff. And I tell them like, Eric's, Eric's just fucking around. Just Eric. Fucking around. Eric can't like, get out really of bed. Eric so can't yeah. murder anybody. He can't murder yeah, anyone. He, can't he lift falls his, on him. He can't even lift his arm. <laughs> right? If he falls out of his building and bounces onto them, <laughs> come here so I, I can I kill you. Him, but but yet yeah, you but cannot but threaten people. Threat? <laughs> Eric, you yeah, can't. And these people are taking it seriously. They don't understand. It's it's hypercheric, and I tell them it's just hypercheric. But they're like, no, he's, he's threatening to murder. Yeah, Eric, if those people call the cops, the cops are going to take you away, dude. Exactly. I know. Has, uh, so you got it. Have you ever met Vinny's wife in person? Oh yeah, when I was at Vinny's house once before, and you know, cause she was away for a weekend. And Vinny's wife, Vinny said to me, when my wife came home, she says to me, she said to Vinny, Vinny, was Eric here? <laughs> and he says, how do you know? And Vinny's wife says, because I can sniff him out from a mile away. Because you smell. Yeah. Is she terrified of you? Fun. What? Well. She could smell. You know, it's like would. the zoo. It's like an animal. <laughs> it's like you come over. You go. Did somebody bring a horse? I mean, in the how did she room? know you were there? <laughs> she says she smelled I don't you. Know. I don't know how. I don't know how she knew I was there. But it's like I, you're I a circus you animal. <laughs> but when, but when, like you, you know when an elephant's been in your house. I mean, yeah. Eric, that's terrible. What? But when Vinny has to hang out with me, <laughs> he, he has to pay his wife to hang out with me. <laughs> Are you attracted to his wife? Is she a very is she a good looking woman? Not really. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay, but meanwhile, you must have fantasies about her because you're always screaming you're gonna rape her. I wouldn't fuck her with your dick. Yeah, but he would. Of course he would. He wants her. You want her, don't you? Well, she's got a nice body, but the face is really not that great. <laughs> Is there oh something God. more insulting in life than no this more guy? There's no bigger insult than that. Than this guy going, ah, not my type. Your face is a two, but your body's a ten. <laughs> oh, I'll throw you a bone. All right, I got to go, dude. It's too late in the show for this nonsense. <laughs> bye. I'll you want me to call to the call back tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye, bye Howard. Right, bye. I, I'm really late. It's like 1044 <laughs> or something. Oh. Or, or but. <laughs> I can talk to those guys all day, but we just we just don't have the time. Bill Tan Mom, so many fun things. I do love that whack pack. I was watching the high pitch Eric feed. You know, he has his own <clears throat> sort of a internet broadcast show. I don't know what else to I call it. I think he calls it a YouTube channel. YouTube. He? he has his own YouTube channel. I thought that was going to be the end of YouTube. Unless he got his own channel, but. I'm so fascinated with him. High pitch. So I'll play some clips from what I watched. I mean, for the most part, nothing happens except he's sitting there in his room. He has a, a, a an apartment, but I hesitate to call it that. I'm telling you, I think a jail cell is bigger. And it doesn't even have its own bathroom, right? No, you got to go out. You got to go out in the hall. It's just a room. He should just shit out the window. <laughs> but yeah, he's just sitting there, and he's gigundo. He's so fat. And all of his stuff is crammed into a corner, and he's on a computer. And he's just like, you just watch him, and it's just fascinating, and I don't know why, but. And for, like, the longest time, nothing happens. He's on the phone, but, like, you can't even hear the other person on the phone. And I'm watching this thing. <laughs> 
And then, and then, like all of a sudden, something will happen. He was, he was on the phone when I tuned in. He was on the phone with some friend requesting balloons and get well cards and an iPad for his stomach stapling surgery in November. He evidently claims he will get his stomach stapled in November. Uh, really? Yeah. I don't know why. Like, I can understand why he wants an iPad. You know. But but balloons. He's like a four year old. Yeah. <laughs> Can you come to New York for my surgery? Yeah. When is that? November 10th. I'll have to check my calendar. Okay, I want balloons, and I want a lot of cards, and I need an iPad while I'm in the hospital. God. Wait, what? I want a lot of balloons, flowers, and cards. <laughs> oh. Okay. And an iPad. And what? And an iPad. So I can look at porno. And a and a twelve pack of fried chicken so I can bust through the staples. <laughs> oh, the nineteenth. Surely he's gonna document his entire stomach stapling <laughs> if it does go down. I like when he goes, I wanna God. God. He's like a phlegmy godfather. Yeah, but he, you know, huh. it's between bites that he's having I this know. conversation. As he talks about his stomach stapling, he's eating everything he can get his hands on. Truly, what's your game plan to cover that stomach stapling? Like, are you going to be able to stay in the hospital with him? Well, I mean, how's that going to, how's that, how's that all going to happen? How's that all going to go down? Like, what's your game plan? I literally spoke to him the other day and he's like, uh, you want to stay at my place the night before the surgery? So we could... I go, where the... F you can't even sleep in your place. You have no room for you. Yeah. Where am I going to go? Like no. He goes, I want a card. <laughs> I want a card? <laughs> Balloons? <laughs> a clown? Uh, someone to pay my medical bills? Listen, I'm very serious. I want balloons? <laughs> clowns? <laughs> Confetti? <laughs> and a con. Get well con. He kind of lifted that bit that um, that uh, Jeff the Drunk does where he takes a hit of weed. You yeah, know, but does. his cough is so great. Cause yeah. Here he is. Here's high pitch taking a hit of some weed. I tried. Oh. Whatever. It's fine, bud. I just, I don't want to be around him when he comes. There he's lighting up. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Job of the hut. <laughs> Are you smoking weed? Yeah. I wonder. <laughs> Why you think people are gonna call the police? <laughs> like, how is that? How is that fun? Like coughing like that. <laughs> <laughs> is so weed that good? Looking. Yeah, weed is so good. <laughs> oh, this is. Ah, I'm so lucky. Because it's like he's high pitched, and then when he takes yeah. a hit of weed, he gets it that lower register. <laughs> 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 and then I like when he tries to talk and he's still not that guy. He goes, I'm the one. He might be my favorite. Oh my God. Yeah. He becomes more masculine when he smokes weed and coughs. It's like that. And when he gets tired, when he gets like tired of walking. Yeah. Because we were in Pittsburgh, we were walking to the stadium. <laughs> it was like a mile and a half walk. And, and he just, at one point, he just stops, puts his hands on his hip, and he just yeah. goes, Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> that weed cough is so good. <laughs> oh, thanks! Thanks for your concern. Hold up. <laughs> you want to sleep over? <laughs> Like, no, I'm good, dude. Thanks. Yeah, fine. I don't want to be in that fucking room with you. Oh, I'll only do my job so much. Uh, want to share my coffin with me? <laughs> <laughs> he thinks a hit. Yeah. It's the most disgusting hit ever. 
Oh, and it's like oh, the last guy on earth who should be smoking weed is him. Yeah, I know. I mean, he's so fat and, and out of shape and diabetic. I saw, when I was watching that feed, He's got like he takes his medication. He has like fifty pills he takes a night. Like that's so he can smoke marijuana and cough like <laughs> yeah. that. But Robin, he's otherwise got otherwise he'd be dead. He takes pills like the I don't, pharmacy has. I'm less watching medication. this thing. It was the funniest thing. <laughs> Some listener is watching him smoke weed, so they get the idea to call the cops yeah. on him, oh. and the cops show up. They always have to show up because they do it to Jeff too. Yeah, they <laughs> like like the cops show up at his door. I mean, I'm telling you, I watched this whole thing. It's so fascinating. Yeah. And the cops come in and they go, you know, we, we got a call claiming that uh, someone said that they, we need to check on you. And during the visit, Eric just starts listing <laughs> the, the insane amount of drugs and pills that he takes. Listen in. Hello, police. It's the cops. Oh, hi. How you doing? Oh, hi. Hi, guys. How's everything? Can we come in? The police are here. How you doing? <laughs> what are you taking there? What's going on? What's, what's going on? No, I want you to eat this and eat it. <laughs> What's your name? Who are you in the phone with? My friend Kevin. Oh, okay. You didn't take any pills or anything today? No. Do right, you have any medical condition? What? Do you have any medical conditions? Uh -huh. <laughs> no, I just took my nighttime meds and I just... Uh... Nighttime meds and it's this big giant plastic case. It's like the size of a suitcase. <laughs> because I just took my meds and he has the meds all lined up in front of him. I love when they ask him a simple question. He goes, what? What? <laughs> Did you take some meds? What? what? Uh, no, I'm just having <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hanging out eating. Yeah, and by the way, the cops do smell the pot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, keep going. Uh, just, uh... What kind of pills do you, you take? What kind of medications do you take? I have like, a little... Multiple ones? Cabapentin. Okay. 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 Another pain. All right. Multivitamin. Okay, because I'm getting a weight loss surgery. Oh, okay. November 10th. Oh, okay. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Okay. 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 And uh, it's smelling weed in here. Were you uh, smoking weed? I mean, you're not in trouble. You've been done. Yeah, just a bit. This is okay. this is my allergy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, it's a pure enough for gout. Gout. This is my well butrin. Well butrin. What kind of pills uh, you took just now? My gabapentin. Look at this. Gabapentin. Look at this. Nerve pain. For nerve pains? Baby aspirin, so I don't have blood clots. Okay. What, what's this set? Uh, this is for being a fat piece of shit. This is for my migraines. This is for... And Torvastatin for blood clots. This here is for my asshole rash. Remember you had an asshole rash? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Stool so you mentioned these poor cops, like, you know, we're overrun with, you know, horrible situations, and they show up at... High pitch. And then they go, hey, we smell weed. And he's like, oh, yeah. And he goes, and this is for my, you know. This is for my allergies. Yeah. Why is he showing them all of those pills? Because they asked him, are right. you taking pills? And he went, first he goes, no. And then he lists 50 pills he's taking. <laughs> he opens a gym locker. <laughs> yeah. And those guys are like, are we ever going to get out of here? I know. Why did we ask that question? <laughs> like when he goes, oh, oh Gabadol. And the cop's like, awesome. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Gabadol. Gabadol for, yeah. for my fucking face. Ten people were murdered during this wellness check, you know. And, and and then, of course, you know, you think Eric's a moron, but within two seconds he mentions Howard Stern. Oh, oh yeah, nice oh. plug. And uh, and blue bloods. <laughs> yeah. You know, he gets uh, it right out there. And the cops seem to know who he is at that point. Yeah, yeah. maybe so. Uh, may, a fan of mine probably called the police. A fan. Okay. What, kind of, uh, what kind of show you have? Like, uh, no, it, it's like a live YouTube. I have a late night show. I'm, I'm Stephen Colbert. People watch me slowly die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on one second. I'm going to take a hit of a... <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that he's taking hits. He's got 50 <laughs> drugs inside of him. Do you have a lighter, officer? Yes. Officer, this pill is for the sores under my tits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on stream because I'm on I'm on radio. 
Let's go over all this. What is it called? Oh, you got a break. Huh? I'm on the Howard Stern show. Oh, oh boy. Wow. I'm watching this going, oh, fuck me. Oh, it's Benji. No. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're Benji. <laughs> <laughs> Except you have bigger tits than we thought on TV. <laughs> I'm on Blue Bloods, too. Yeah, sure. So someone, so some. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> You're a high pitch Yes. No. These guys must oh. be detectives. Yeah, oh. some fucking detectives. Yes. Uh, can I shake your hand? Yes. Yeah. Shake, shake his shake hand. hand. Why would you want to shake his hand? Oh, the guy's taking stool softener. Can I shake your hand? <laughs> Boy, oh, come on. Soft. This is my stool softener. <laughs> By the way, I did the two craptaculars with him. His stool was plenty soft. Yeah, why is he taking <laughs> his stool softener? That's the last one. You need it's hardener. Working. Yeah. Maybe, you working. know, that was like 10 years ago. Maybe his stool's gotten harder. <laughs> but fans are fucking me if I do and smoke a weed. That's why. <laughs> what? I pitch Eric from the Howard Stern show. Really? Yeah. Hey, I, smoke all the weed you want. Yeah, I thought I Come on, so fans are fucking with me for just doing this. Oh my god. He's so so he just, I think it's still against the law technically to be smoking weed, even though the cops won't fuck with you. Yeah, but what are you going to do with high pitch Eric? Yeah, they're doing this because I'm smoking weed. My fans are calling the cops. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I take, they, I take this to remind me I have kneecaps. I didn't even, rem I, I didn't even pull the clip where earlier in the video, Eric is checking his Donnie Wahlberg doll for a penis and then gets upset when there isn't one. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. How Imagine barely. the cops walking in and they're like, Howard Stern show. That's like, that's like Charles Manson <laughs> dropping your name to the cops. Right. Right after the Tate LaBianca murders. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, well, anyway. So, You're yeah, he's, he's approved for this uh, procedure. His so he therapist, says. He is. His therapist gave him the green light. But he I was, thought he had to lose like a 50 pounds before they'd operate. But I guess well, they've given up on that. Well, he's meeting with the nutrition, uh, nutritionist every, I think, two or three weeks. He yeah. meets with the nutritionist. They weigh him. They, they stay on track. And supposedly he's losing yeah. weight. But when I talked to him last, I think it was last week, he goes, I'm down to 387. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, that, but, but where were uh, you? <laughs> the, do the doctor says that uh, he'll, he's going to have to come in later to get the excess skin taken off if, uh, if he loses yeah, the weight. Yeah, we'll see. I know tons of people have had that surgery, and they don't lose a pound. Yeah. And I got my money's on him gaining weight after it. Oh, one cough. I don't he's think gonna... he's a good candidate for success. Yeah. <laughs> One cough attack is going to bust right through this. Uh, 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 <laughs> I lost the staple. Anyway, uh, to cap this all off, we took drops of uh, Alex Jones, you know, <laughs> and we called High Pitch Eric. And we told Eric that Alex was up at serious and angry at him. So if you want to, if you want to hear this, this is Alex Jones arguing with High Pitch Eric. And they really go at it uh, for your listening pleasure. Hello. Hey, Eric, it's Mike from The Stern Show. How are you? Hey, hey, what's up? Listen, Alex Jones, the guy on the radio, Yeah. he's up here at Sirius today, and he wanted to speak to you. He's heard you on the show. Okay. Can I put him on with you? Yeah. He's a little angry with you, though. Why? I don't know. He's heard you on the show, and he, he's kind of against some of your views. Let me talk to him. Hey, listen, asshole. Hey, what's up, you fucker? I'm not against gay people. I love them. They're great folks. I'm not gay, asshole. With those little deer-in-the-headlight eyes hopping around, bossing everybody around, trying to intimidate people. What the fuck's your problem? The fuck is your problem, Alex? You have fucking crossed the line. I didn't cross the line. You did, you fucker. You're the people that have fucked this country over and gang-raped the shit out of it. So stop shooting your mouth off, claiming I'm the enemy. I'm not the enemy. You filth. Yeah, you're the filth, bitch. I mean, look, I know you're anti-American. Listen, Alex, you and I stand for the same rights. We both hate de Blasio. De Blasio's a fucking cunt. The Russians are against us. We need to nuke those motherfuckers. You want to sit here and say that I'm a goddamn fucking Russian? Shut up. Those are fucking fighting words. Excuse me. Yeah, you're a dick. Gay, 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 gay. You're the gay one. When you let people get spoiled rotten and live off of you, they end up becoming your masters and disdaining who feeds them. Listen, Alex, I gotta go. Blue blood is on. It's time for me to eat. <laughs> Hi, it's me, JD. Uh, I, I don't know. All right, fuck off. The Howard Stern Show.
to phone Robin real quick is High Pitch Eric and Gonzo. Mm. Uh, High Pitch, as I explained yesterday, is now into this whole internet uh, radio, not not radio, but it's like a, a video Hi, feed. Daddy. Yeah, it's YouTube, uh, right? Hi. Hey, you High Pitch. Hi, it's a YouTube channel. Yeah. And my father is my vice president. Well, for now, I mean, yeah. you, you turn on people so rapidly. I mean, this, you know, Eric, I got to tell you, I've been playing clips from your show, <laughs> and uh, you turn on this lawyer. And How can he have him insulting his wife like that? That's gonna, so horrible. This lawyer who's so loyal to you and helps you and, and helped you get it out of your court case, ironically helped Eric get out of a court case for threatening elephant no, boy. No, no, this, no, well, Howard, this is, no, I have, a, this is, this is a different lawyer. Well, you got in trouble for threatening people, and I hear you on the phone with this lawyer who's working with you, and, and you're threatening his wife and his children. I mean, you never learn your lesson. It's fascinating. <laughs> this lawyer loves it. He, he gets the thrill of it. He loves oh, when he you say it. you're going to rape his wife? He thinks it's funny. Well, you better be careful with all that threatening. I thought you'd learn your lesson. Because, you know, when I, when I say that, he thinks it's funny. So, in other words, you've worked this out ahead of time. You've gotten his permission to threaten to rape his wife? I didn't get permission, but whenever I say it, he thinks it's hilarious. Is that true, Gonzo? Um, yeah, I think that he really does. Like, Because he, he supports Eric throughout the entire uh uh, streaming situation like on YouTube so every time Eric gets shut down he always like he's always there to like put him back up and, and he, Eric's been shut down for threatening to murder Vinny his lawyer like three times I know yeah this this new enterprise has been shut down multiple times because Eric keeps so threatening people. YouTube doesn't understand that it's no okay did Vinny yeah, think it was we, funny we, Eric did Vinny think it was funny when you gave out his phone number oh absolutely Oh, really? <laughs> He's got one strange yeah, sense of humor. Now, I just looked on. Why is your live stream down right now? Because Vinny was trying to update the system, and I said, and I said, I said, what the fuck is going on, Vinny? And he said, uh, he, he updated the system. And I said to myself, what a fucking dick. No, I could. I think. I think it's more of how. I think it's because Eric's been threatening to kill people, and um, yeah. on his uh, on his live stream, he goes. He'll he'll watch. Eric doesn't. I'm I'm kind of gonna uh, break down the fourth wall here, but uh, Eric he'll watch his uh, his live stream, and then he'll he'll like act like he's not watching it, and then he'll text me and tell me specific people's screen names and tell me to tell them to fuck off, mm -hmm. and that uh, he hopes they die. So then I have to go on as a moderator and tell them Eric, that Eric, Eric is a shit. You don't understand? You can't yeah. do that? You're going to get in jail? Yeah, but, well, right now, the new, this new channel, <laughs> I'm doing really good now. I'm not, I haven't threatened anybody. Do you know yeah, what... But it's only, been up for, it's only you, been up for like 12 hours, though. Do you know what rape is? Yes. What is it? When you take someone's clothes off. All right, listen to me. What? Yes. When you say you're going to rape Vinny's wife, what does that mean you're going to do? When they put my dick in her. Right. Against her wishes. Put, right, when they put semen on her. In her. In her. Well, why are you correcting him? We're trying to figure out what he knows. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, he's, 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 he's treating her like she's a sandwich. He's going to put semen on her. <laughs> like mayo. <laughs> right. Now, Howard, so, now, Sunday, I have a special, Sunday, I have this, these two girls, Nikki and Tara, doing a special project. Like a project cleanup in my room. So and they're going to come over and clean your room? Yeah, he's promoting now, but. I, I was watching High Pitch, and he starts ordering around this girl, Nikki, to come over, and he gets fucking violently angry. Mm -hmm. this, here's Eric on his feed uh, speaking to a woman named Nikki. So, Nikki, don't take a nap. Get in the damn shower. Get dressed. Now, come over! <laughs> <laughs> 
Nikki, get in the fucking shower. Now! Get a cup of coffee and drive over drive over my house. <laughs> <laughs> Some feed. Did she come over? No, it's not because she was tired and I, I took a nap. I took like a five hour nap. Yeah. yeah, well, somebody needs to come over to Eric's place because Howard. I don't know if you've seen his uh, his live feed, but he has a he has a hot plate and he has a, a paper bag over his hot plate, and it's been there for like three weeks, and he refuses to move it. Yeah, so he can burn down that stupid place. Yeah, it's a, yeah. It's, a it's, it's a fire hazard, and there's all kinds of like wires and shit like all over Eric's place. But he, he uh, I don't know, he, he needs he needs to uh, clean that place up. I know that I've yeah. seen prison cells be larger than what he's in. But all right. And now- now, also, Vinny... By the way, you're Vinny, fatter than ever, Eric. I mean, I don't see how they're going to even do that, perform that weight loss surgery on you because you're supposed to yeah, lose Yeah, has he few. given up on that? He has. He was eating so much. No, like, no, I'm not giving up on it. Yeah, but, dude, you're fatter than you've ever been. You're not losing weight. Uh, and I see Eric, on there Eric, drinking Eric. soda every fucking minute. You know, you drink Eric, so much soda. What's up with that? Eric had two pizzas. Who... Listen, people wanted me pizza. And you know what I do to the pizzas? Oh. I throw them away. No, you don't. What do you do I with the sushi, have... Eric? He ate two trays of sushi. 50, 54 no, three, pieces, three, Howard. Yeah. Three, trays. three trays of sushi. <laughs> three trays. But you know he's not. Gonna, you're not going to be eligible for this surgery, Eric. You, they, they, they prep you beforehand to make sure... That you eat like a normal human being. Otherwise, they're not going to waste their time and do this. And miso soup. <laughs> miso soup. <laughs> miso He's busy. Soup. Miso uh, soup. Julie, miso. he can't hear you. <laughs> miso soup. <laughs> He's thinking food. Uh, yeah, but... but California people, rules. I saw he puts uh, whipped cream in his coffee, too. I whipped cream in my coffee. I mean, how's he oh, ever going to lose a pound? <laughs> Whipped cream is the best in coffee. Yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> I'm sure it's delicious. You know what? <laughs> Ice cream with Sunday sauce is delicious, too. But Just you, the chocolate the sauce, right? Your mouth I is thought great. you'd stop drinking soda. And then I saw you drinking like Mountain Dew after Mountain Dew, like five, five in a row. Five Sprites. Oh, yeah, that's what it was, Sprite. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I just have a latte with whipped cream. <laughs> whipped cream? Yeah, somebody, somebody, a latte with... Eric, that is- <laughs> Someone told Eric Sprite was good because it's clear. It's better than uh, Coke. Maybe so that's me so, me so disgusting soup. <laughs> me so gross. <laughs> me so horny. <laughs> I like that he but has now, two people but, coming to clean his apartment. You can't even get three people in that apartment. Now. I know. <laughs> the last two weeks, people bought me pizza pies. <laughs> and I got so angry. I went out took the pizza and threw it in the garbage. You're so full of shit. Here's Eric. I, I'm telling you, I have evidence. <laughs> Hold it. Listen to this. Here he is g- giving orders for breakfast. So, oh, yeah. yeah did you, do you hear this? Listen <laughs> yeah. to this. Just Jack, listen. Jack will later. Right. I wonder what my girl Kitty will give me for breakfast. <laughs> I love pancakes. Yeah. I want sausages with those pancakes tomorrow. Around... 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Yeah. Some diet. You're out there ordering shit. I'm busy doing nothing. Which one of my lucky fans will buy me shit? I love pancakes. <laughs> oh, here he is eating the two trays of uh, sushi. Ugh. And then he belches at the end. I'm eating. Did you join your miso soup? Three trays. And your sushi? Yes. Right. I'm having the miso soup. You nine rolls? <laughs> is that true? Nine more rolls? Okay, here's the sushi. That's tray number one. <laughs> Tray. And Tray this is the one. second one right here. Tray two. Right. Oh, no forks. Great. No different <laughs> forks. Now it's hot. Wow. <laughs> he has a deeper voice when he belts. Yeah, his bathroom was like Hiroshima that night. Uh, yeah. You hear the air conditioning going yeah. on and then the belches start immediately. Oh. Sweating, dude. How are you? How are you going to lose weight (laughs) to qualify for this? 
surgery. Because you watch it, like he lays down on bed, his belly hangs over the bed because he's on his side, and his belly is off the bed because there's no room for his belly on it. It's almost like he's sleeping with another person. Yeah. <laughs> he's cuddling with himself. How are you going <laughs> to lose any weight, or they won't give you the, the, the stomach reducing surgery? I mean, the doctor says I'm eligible. Yeah, if you lose some weight. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I do a lot of walking. <laughs> you walk to the down, refrigerator. No, he, here's where he walks. He walks downstairs outside his building to smoke cigars. Oh. oh. That's his health walk. Yeah, but that's a walk. <laughs> I don't inhale the cigars. Yeah, and I don't know if you saw Eric eat the sushi, but when he eats the sushi, he, he basically opens the tray, he pours a bottle of soy sauce on it, and he eats it with a fork. Yeah, you, no, you, that's so really sorry. Eric eats. Teriyaki sauce. Teriyaki sauce. Teriyaki. Because okay, that's because that's better. Yeah. It's more tastier. Yeah, that's because it has more salt, which helps you retain more calories and water. I love when you say something to him that makes total sense to anybody else, <laughs> yeah. and then you just and then you hear. Yep. <laughs> that little <laughs> octave change. Yeah. <laughs> oh. oh, oh. <laughs> I will. <laughs> 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 but I like a uh, miso soup. <laughs> you know, it's more saltier. Yeah, but you know, uh, miso soup. <laughs> yeah, yeah, miso soup you know, is like the answer. To, no, miso soup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know, you're gonna die you if you know, keep eating like this. Uh, you know, miso you soup. Know my wish list that these people bought me these fucking tranny dolls. <laughs> Why are they on your wish list, first of all? I like whipped cream on my tranny <laughs> doll. Because, because Vicky put them on my wish list. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know there were tranny <laughs> dolls. What the, what the fuck am I going to do with the tranny blow-up doll? Stick it up your ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to die. I'm not going to... I'm going to die. Dude, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. This tranny blow-up doll. I don't know. You want... He swears he's not gay, but he says he fantasizes about TV weathermen and jerks off while watching Donnie Wahlberg on the TV show Blue Bloods. Does he really understand the term gay? I don't know. But... <laughs> and then, of course, in 2017, he got gastric sleeve surgery for his weight. And he is down 60 pounds. Yeah. So whether or not he maintains that, I don't know. I don't know. But in uh, 2017, we had Donnie Wahlberg and New Kids on the Block perform in the studio. We let Eric watch. Oh, and he was in heaven. Yeah, he's so in heaven that he didn't want to leave the studio after the guys performed. He just went. He just didn't want to leave. I love staring at Donnie for me. <laughs> you do. I'm sure you do. <laughs> there's a little window. Where there's a little window you can peek through on the door, can, Eric. Can what I, is it, Eric? Can Go I ahead. just watch you from here? I'm, I'll be quiet. No, no, no. It, I, it's freaking. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm looking Eric. at Jordan's I'm face, and he looks like he's going to run out of the room. It's a little off-putting. <laughs> okay. Little, okay. Yeah. Go ahead. You had your time, and that's it. <laughs> that's is part of the whole thing. I'm fine with you, Eric. But so you're frightening some of my bandmates, so I Donnie, have to be just, mindful of that. Just curious, is there ever a chance that you would ever make love to High Pitch Eric uh, oh, under oh, any wow. circumstance? So. Um, <laughs> no. Yeah, but I'll tell you. By the end of the year. Yeah, those two warmed up to one another. He was in Eric's arms. Yeah, a lot of times. In 2017, High Pitch told us that a couple of times he told us that he jerks off while thinking about Donnie. And he admitted to uh, jerking off to Jimmy Kimmel, too. Oh, wow. Jimmy's a prison, and I'm an FBI agent. Yeah. And I had to, and I told him to jerk me off. <laughs> and I saw, come all over his chest. Oh. And Jimmy ch Jimmy jerks, jerks you off? Yeah. <laughs> wow. And then you come on his chest. Yeah. But that's not gay. Mm. And, I mean, there was a ton of shit in 2017 about Eric. I mean, the Eric... evidence is piling up. Though. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Eric started a YouTube channel. <laughs> He's got some lawyer involved with him named Vinny, <laughs> and Vinny runs this YouTube channel. And Eric was getting ready for his gastric sleeve surgery, and then Vinny was asking him to do stuff for the YouTube channel, and Eric was freaking out and didn't react well, and they started arguing, and then, of course, Eric starts threatening Vinny's family. It was uh, just a big saga. Listen, I have doctor's appointment to have to... I have doctor's appointment to have to my surgery. So, you don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck. Fuck you. <coughs> yeah? I can, you, you don't do this to your dad, do you? Don't do it to me. Don't do it 
to me. Who? And I will stab you and your family, Vinny. <laughs> there you go. I don't have to call in. I don't have to call in. If I call in, it's for 10 minutes, and that's it. You don't tell me what the fuck to do. <laughs> no. <laughs> Vinny, I fucking had surgery. You don't give a f- two fucking shits. So fuck you, fuck Lori, fuck Devin, and fuck your baby girl, motherfucker. Nothing worse than being threatened by, like, a Mickey Mouse <laughs> sounding dude. <laughs> I mean, my, how do you take that seriously? The best is when he clears his throat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> In the middle of yelling. Well, I'm you know, the... St- I will stab you, Vinny. The only mistake Vinny made was trying to get some work out of Eric. Yeah. <laughs> How angry it made. Yeah, I mean, even if your work is just being on YouTube, he gets angry. <laughs> and fuck your little baby. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I, it's like the spike strip. And it's like, <laughs> I get the idea that it's very hard for him to talk. And, it, and yeah. sometimes it, when he's, especially when he's tired, it does that roller coaster thing. He was like, listen, Vinny. <laughs> Vinny. <laughs> I'm good. No. No. <laughs> I don't have to go on. I don't have to. Oh. Oh. Listen to me. <laughs> 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 what a 2017. Can 2018 top 2017? I don't know how. Yeah. Not By the way, in the wag pack area. Mm-hmm. Howard, just a quick little side note on, uh, uh, shockingly, the Eric Vinny relationship is not ending well. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah. is, it, is that over? Is that uh, ending? Yeah, it looks like But then Eric, how is Eric going to mastermind a YouTube channel? Well, it looks like Eric is getting in touch with a lawyer to proceed with going after his old lawyer. <laughs> oh, really? Eric's hiring a lawyer to yeah, sue it, Vinny? It's so nuts, Howard. It's so nuts. Wow. What's yeah. the lawyer that takes that case? What's yeah. he, what's he suing for? Do? Oh, I'd like to get a lawyer, please. <laughs> Hi. Uh, he's, he's, it's a whole fucking long story. And and it's, it's uh, basically uh, Vinny, he left Vinny's YouTube channel and now he's doing stuff with Gonzo. And, and is and, Vinny suing Eric? <laughs> I don't think, yeah. they, yeah. cease and desist letters have gone out. Oh my God. Like, it's ridiculous. Really? Yeah. You mean because Eric's with Gonzo now, Vinny's saying, listen, I had you signed exclusively. Well, I guess Eric wants Vinny to shut down the channel since right. he's not on there anymore. Vinny refuses. Right. So Eric's now threatening Vinny. Vinny's sending Eric cease and desist. Eric's sending Vinny cease oh my and desist. God. Uh, yeah. Wow. So I mean, Eric really got a lawyer? <laughs> yeah. but isn't, isn't it amazing that like Eric actually found somebody to put together a YouTube channel for him and run it, and he somehow is pissing this guy off. Yeah, but he found a lawyer to fight his case. That's even more crazy. Well, here's about- what I'm looking forward to in 2018. When Eric hires a new lawyer to sue his old lawyer and then threatens to stab the new lawyer. Like, that's what I want. I'm waiting for. Unbelievable. Isn't it weird, like, all of the different things going on over the years? You know, that that happened here just with the WAC pack. It's really amazing when you review like this. The running thread I get from the WAC pack is they don't want to work. Jeff doesn't want to work. Wendy doesn't want to work. Eric doesn't want to work. Pete's the only one who wants to work. No, Pete really does. Pete doesn't want to work. Nah, he doesn't want to work. My drive home, (laughs) you know, I drove him to Wayne's and and back. And my drive home was, I said to Pete, you seem to have something going on here. You seem interested in it. You're a good talker. Yeah, try and sell some more cars. I go, you interested in this? You know, maybe Wayne can make a call for someone down in Jersey. And he said, no, he wants to be paid to be a personality. That's his dream in life. He just wants people to pay him. Wait a second, that's my dream. (laughs) (laughs) Eric hangs out with a lot of attorneys, too. Yeah, Eric, so I have a question for you. Were you at the game with Vinny yesterday? Ouch. Don't be a fucking liar, Eric. No, why would I hang out with him? Everyone's saying that Vinny bought that ticket for you. No. It does look like Vinny. It does no. look like Vinny, and that you guys were hanging out eating food together. Did you see him at the game? No. Don't lie. Don't lie. No, that was not him. So I saw on Twitter while K comes back that one guy said, I've seen this guy before, and he looks just like High Pitch, and he's always at the Yankees game, but it's not High Pitch. It's just the guy that yeah. looks like High Pitch. But I'm confused because Eric has been wearing a Wahlburgers hat. Yes. And I saw the Wahlburgers hat. Yeah, because someone, I was there opening day in, in those same seats. So, Eric, I have a question. Yeah. Um, no, go ahead, Dave. Ask your oh, question. Oh, no, no. I mean, that answer my, I know that there's a guy out there that looks just like high pitch because somebody sent me a picture of him. It's his doppelganger. Everybody's got a doppelganger. 
says yes. Definitely. Right. Okay, I'm All back. Right. So. Okay, back. She's back. So, Crystal, so what are you doing for work now? No, don't uh, answer that, Kate. Okay? Don't. Oh, there she goes. So, Eric, so I have a question for you. Were you at the game with Vinny yesterday? Ouch. Don't be a fucking liar, Eric. No, why would I hang out with him? Everyone's saying that Vinny bought that ticket for you. That no. That does look like Vinny. It does no. look like Vinny. And that you guys were hanging out eating food together. Did you see him at the game? No. Don't lie. Don't lie. No. That was not him. Eric, is that what you're upset about? Well, uh, well, for now, I'm not going to talk to him. Uh, 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 Eric, is that what you're upset about? Well, uh, well, for now, I'm not going to talk to him. I have mental, I have mental issues. Yeah. Call Vinny. He wants us to be mad at Vinny. And then he is calls that what me. do you exactly want, Eric? Do you want us to be mad at Vinny? Yes, because why would it? I mean, it's. But Vinny's holding up signs and supporting my show. Why would I be mad at that? But political stuff is not allowed. I understand, but I'm not mad at Vinny for doing that. I'm just not. And you have no right to be mad at Vinny because you wouldn't even be at the Yankee game without Vinny. And nobody forced you to go to the game. Well, I'm not going to any more games with him. Well, you oh, showed gee, him. There's a threat. Yeah, there you go. Poor Vinny. By the way, we heard what you. Shuli had a list of what you ate at the game. <laughs> oh. Yeah, but you know how to keep a phone by your mouth. You're not that mental. Is that what's making you drop the phone? Your mental issues? <laughs> no. You're saying you're so stupid you don't know what the phone, how to use a phone? Huh? <laughs> I know how to use a phone. So then what are you talking about? I told Howard. So I was so And upset. the other thing, too, Eric, is you're threatening to kill your lawyer and other people all the time. It's either you're going to kill someone or you're going to kill yourself. It's outrageous behavior. You know I that. Know, but I, was, I was so upset yesterday after what was said on the show yesterday. What was said? Okay. <laughs> like, I was, I was at the game with... You know, we weren't. Ta we were saying, isn't it amazing <laughs> that Eric could go to the Yankee game and sit in thirty six hundred dollars seats? The fact that you get that is amazing. No, what I wanted to point out is Eric doesn't even know what upset him. No, he. This is damage control. You understand? He's got people in his life, friends that are upset that he's hanging out with Vinny again. Yeah, but lawyer. he's making well, threats to kill himself, well, well, and today he can't even right. remember why. Right. And, well, and, give him a chance to explain. Go ahead. Okay, so and keep the Shirley phone by your mouth. Surely did not tell you and show you the pictures that Vinny posted. What? Okay? Who cares? What do you mean? <laughs> what's that noise? <laughs> in other words, what's the big deal? So you sat in great seats. That's it. Why would you kill but, yourself? Vinny got in trouble by security. Twice. <laughs> What's he but, talking about? So, so Vinny and Eric go to the game. Vinny printed up signs, and he was holding up little signs behind home plate that would get on camera. One sign said, Howard Stern comes again. Nice. Another sign said, uh, I think, Shuley Trump 2020. Okay. And yeah. security came down and twice asked him, could you not put up the signs? That's the extent of it. They didn't get thrown out. So why is Eric... So why does it's Eric... embarrassing! What's embarrassing? When security has to come and tell Vinny to put the signs Yeah, down. but Vinny's the guy getting you the seats to the game. It's, it's unbelievable. You're, he, you're, you're but missing... The but, the, but the fans in front can't see the game. You were in the front so row. Decide. But why did you... But wait a second, Eric. Why did you want to kill yourself over what was said on the show yesterday? We didn't even know that information. Nobody said it. So what are you talking about? Well, surely didn't bring that up because Eric, be I honest. Him. Eric, be honest right now. You're you you tried to cover up the fact that you were at the game with Vinny. You didn't want people to know that you were at the game with Vinny. I suggest why doesn't he? Because he's he sued Vinny. Like he he threatened to kill Vinny and his entire family. These two, everybody thought were no no longer friends and never ever going to be friends again. And it turns out. He never stopped keeping in contact with Vinny. So is that what, Eric, is that what you're upset about? Well, uh, for, uh, well for now, I'm not going to talk to him. Because my now. therapist said, my therapist says 
she was mad at me when I when I told her I how I was Vinny, and she was pissed off at me. Yeah, but you got seduced have... by his he, free tickets. He can't turn down free shit. That right. is thirty six hundred dollars, and those tickets entitled him to a full buffet. You want to talk about embarrassing, Vinny? Embarrassing. Matt, the Jets' starting quarterback couldn't even get in the same section as Eric was in. Wow. Shame on you for being mad at Vinny. But what does our talking about it have to do with him making that claim? He's claiming that something we did upset him. So far, he said nothing that happened on this show. Right. Wow. But Vinny yells, but Vinny yells at the baseball players behind the home plate. Yeah, so yell at Vinny. That's got nothing to do with us. No, I, no, I didn't get sick. At all. No, oh. I didn't get sick. Wow. Thank you, Eric, because Eric that. can't answer your question straight. Right. He what, makes no, things up. I, you seem very angry with that. I bro. know, Robin. No, I know <laughs> when I get full. Of course you do. Is it true you've okay. been? Have you been texting Chris Wilding on weekends to hang out with him? Yeah, I, I have. I want to see if he wants to go to that fist fest in a few weeks. <laughs> oh, oh, get out of here! Are you really finally oh. coming out of the closet? Because he's Chris got is, a thing for Chris. By the like, way, what would you do to Chris? I want to go to fist fest with him and do interviews with people with him. No, Eric, in L.A. when you came out to L.A., uh, I talked to you about Chris, and you you said you wanted to do a number of things to Chris. Uh oh, what'd you say? I forgot what I said. <laughs> Convenience. <laughs> he said he wanted to. He wanted to have sex with Chris. He wanted to marry Chris. Oh, keep him in the country. Keep really? him what? Yeah. In the oh, in this country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> keep Chris. He, he would marry Chris for a green card. I want actually Chris oh, to yeah. marry him and take him to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> oh, on our phone is su- on our phone is super depressed. High pitch, Eric. Uh oh. Let me pick up on right. this. Right. right. Hello, super depressed high pitch, Eric. Oh. What's wrong? I'm really fucking depressed, okay? What's wrong? It really fucking sucks. <laughs> I got courtside seats to the next game next week. My fucking friend wants to bring me to go see Paul McCartney in Brazil. It fucking blows. <laughs> you're angry because you, you're angry. <laughs> Thank you. Super depressed, high pitch, Eric. Hey, Eric, you know you upset your friends a lot more by threatening suicide than going to a game with Vinny. Are you well, for real when you threaten suicide, or are you trying to get attention? I'm not trying to get attention. I, <laughs> listen, I have anger issues, okay? Yeah, but when you say to people, if I don't get on the show next week, I'm going to kill myself. What are we supposed to do? I mean, uh, you're threatening to kill yourself. I want to get my point out today about the situation, about the the signs that Vinny was holding up. And I was embarrassed by that. That's amazing. <laughs> you just got shit in the toilet and we <laughs> waited for 24 hours. The signs embarrassed them. So you said to Vinny, who took you to the Yankee game, do not hold up any more do signs. Do not embarrass me. Do not, and he just continued to do it? <laughs> yes. Vinny! Stop! You're embarrassing me. Is Vinny, is Vinny really a lawyer? Is that who yeah. he is? <laughs> yeah. It's pretty good, too. Yeah. Vinny sounds like a character, like a sound v- Vinny, type. Vinny like, is know. borderline whack pack. He's amazing. <laughs> Well, he's, he's, he's borderline retarded. He's a fucking dick. <laughs> Why do you think he's a dick? He's the only one who gives you anything. You know how much money Vinny spent on this fucking guy I over mean, the years? I mean, ridiculous. I mean, yeah, so he That's tortured it. you a little bit, but I mean, he, he, he paid And I like that now well. he's embarrassed at the Yankee. This is a guy who chops up his shit with a hanger when it yeah. won't go down the toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's embarrassed. Listen, Howard. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he called one of the baseball players a fat fuck. <laughs> Well, oh, that's not right. Circle. That's not nice. Look, Nobody does that on. at a baseball game. Everybody does that at baseball yeah. games. <laughs> you sure he wasn't that. talking to you? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, no, 
Yeah. You know, in a way, Eric, listen, Eric is right. He wants to have civility around him. But listen. He you're, should pay for his own ticket. Right. Then. You're Vinny's guest, and you got to just kind of put it up with it. That's and all. Nobody will see the sign if you're sitting in the $10 seats up there. I mean, you're eating like a king. You're at $3,600 Yankee game tickets. You know, maybe put up with the guy. Can't have it both ways, well, buddy. Well, I'm not going to any more games. All right. I'm not going to hang out. Hey, I was so many more. If he upsets you that much, then you then you shouldn't. My therapist says I have I have way more better friends than him, which is true. Did, Eric told me that he starts his therapy session by saying how he wants. <laughs> you know, hey, and by the way, but I got to go, Eric. But it, I got to have a longer discussion with you at some point because he threatened his lawyer's kid recently. Oh, geez. And, and I'm trying to explain to him he's going to get in a lot of legal trouble and maybe go to jail if he keeps doing these threats. And, you know, it would break my heart because I know, I don't know what you're doing, but why are you threatening his kid? I don't threaten his kid. All right. Read the tweet. We have, we have the email. Uh, Shula's going to come in and read it. All right. Just real quick because I don't have a lot of time for this, but I'm trying to help you. I really am. Go ahead, Shuley. This one's not good, Howard. But yeah, go ahead. Eric, you wrote, your son is dead later today. I know where he is, where his school is. I'll be there 2 p.m., take him from school, tie him up, tape his mouth shut, stab him to death, spit in his face, leave him for dead, and throw him in the garbage incinerator. Yeah. Eric, what are you doing? Because he keeps emailing me and asking me to go to the Yankee game, and I don't want to. Yeah, but Eric. Well, there's an easier word. How about just no? Yeah. But it's constant email. So delete them. And, and, and you email. can't say that about a child. Yeah. How many emails did he send you? A lot. How many is a lot? And ten? Yes. All right. What would it have been to just delete the ten email? Because his emails drive me fucking insane. Yeah, well. But you look at them. As soon as you see it, just delete it. And then he write, the guy writes him back. Okay, that's why he writes him back. And Eric writes back, call him, say goodbye to him. I'm on my way to his school now. Yeah, I mean, uh, Eric, that's the. Yeah, I know you're full of shit, but so other people don't. And this guy's a lawyer. He could ruin your life. Yeah. And by the way, what is the guy pounding him about? About going to the Yankees game? Yeah, it's not like asking $2, him. $2,000 seats. Yeah. Uh, Eric, please come to my $2,000 seats at the Yankee game. I and pay you're... for all your drinks. I'm not asking you... him to help bury a body. Yeah. I, don't want to, I don't want to be seen with him anymore. Yeah, I know, but you know what? you got to be careful. You know, it, That's not on the level of needing to threaten somebody's child. Well, you're right, but I'm very angry that he's been emailing me. All right, that I know. There is a way to deal with that. Yeah, your reaction is over the top. Right. And people don't know you just threaten everybody. It's absolutely the wrong reaction. Right. It's not even a little bit wrong. And I know, like, that people understand that you're limited in some way, but at the same point, you still got to be careful. Well, uh, I, I, I understand what you're saying. So what do you want to say? That I shouldn't do that. Right. I mean, really, how could you even say such things? I would never say such things about a child. What'd the kid do to you, man? It's what, it, it's what he does to me. No, uh -huh. the kid didn't do anything to you. I'm just getting back at my ex-lawyer because of his constant emails. But you get, Eric, that the child has nothing to do with this. So maybe it will stop him from emailing me. I love when you argue with Eric. Uh, that's because it's crazy because I now realize I'm in a stupid mood. <laughs> I'm up in my world. Yeah. <laughs> All day, every day. But, but, but he's got to stop emailing me. Wow, wow. It's what the kid does yeah, to but, me. Yeah, but Eric, you can't equate that with <laughs> Yeah, but maybe he'll stop. But maybe I don't get his attention. Yeah. <laughs> well, just so everyone knows, I know that Eric doesn't mean it, but... He's a lazy sack of shit at the end of the day. No, he's and he's going not to, going anywhere. That would going. require a tremendous amount of energy yeah. and thought. You know, how much, you know how hard it is just to get him to come here? <laughs> it's a whole production. This is to be on the radio. All right, I'm just, I hope I'm getting through to you on some level. 
Yes, you are. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> now, yeah. But before you, before you head out, I'm very congested. Yeah. Oh, you know up, congested. You, don't shut you, up, you big, fat, stupid idiot. That's a high pitch. <laughs> Fuck That's you. A, I know. And then, and then, like, you know, because he's got to be in close proximity to me because he's... Dude, you know, he's, I am not sick. He fixes I, up my I, clothes. I'm not sick. I don't know what to tell you. I have allergies. I, I mean, talk to my doctor. She gave me allergy medication. I don't know, if man. I was sick, she gave me sick medication. You sound like that character Tom Hanks played in Philadelphia <laughs> when he had a cold. He oh, thought he had one. Man. Yeah. <laughs> it's all downhill. Yeah. Oh, that's all. Oh, I'm just wow. telling you, man. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> no, seriously, dude. I, I can't afford to get sick right now. In a couple of weeks, I can. Have you gotten... I, I been, If I was sick, you would have been sick. I've been around you like so I was at a photo shoot, and he hands me my glasses for uh -huh. the photo shoot. I go, dude, I can't wear those now. It's not all over it. Yeah, well, he just handled... I go, can't you, can't you just, like, fucking hand me the case and, like, just open the case? What Am I being stupid? <laughs> Is this a song from Philadelphia? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's of Philadelphia. Philadelphia. <laughs> That's so sad. He put him in a hazmat suit, maybe? Yeah, maybe. You have to Somebody wear a hazmat. Somebody needs a suit. No, but I know I'm going to be over... To turn that off. I, I know I'm going to be, you know, at that Tonight Show worried about getting sick because I'm all run down from running around all these interviews. The second you see him, that's all you're going to think about. I know. And then he's like... I, I, didn't, take my, I didn't take my inhaler yet, my Zycam or whatever that is. Oh, you have it? It's a flow nays or something like that. I don't know. I, he doesn't even know what he's taking. Yeah, yeah. He's named everything. Yeah. I have to flow nays. But it's allergy flow medication. Nays. You know what it's that means? Like, like, your nasal passage yeah. is flowing. Dude, you sound like this for like a month now. Like month? Longer. Yeah. Like longer. longer. Yeah. Eric's telling you you sound bad. <laughs> he's fucking phlegm with Eric arms and legs. Better. Yeah. I'm fine. <laughs> All right. The dude... What should I do, Robin? Should I not have him show up? I think it's allergies. You do? Yeah.